Marina Hera. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great, thank you. Excellent. Follow me, please. Thank you. Okay, would you like to put your coat and your handbag on the chair, please? Sure, thank you. Okay, before we begin, can you please raise up your right hand? Do you promise to tell the truth and nothing else but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Very good. Put your hand down. Thank you. All right, have a seat. Thank you. Problem. To begin with, may I see your green card, your passport, and your driver's license, please? Sure. Here you go. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Why are you here today? I'm here for my citizenship exam. All right, great. And what is your complete name? My complete name is Marina Hera. Okay, great. Marina, do you have a middle name? No, I do not. Okay, would you like to legally change your name? No, I don't. No? No. Are you happy with your name? Yes, sir. All right, very good. How tall are you? I am uh, five feet, six inches tall. Okay. And what color is your hair? And my hair is uh, dark brown. Dark brown, okay. And where do you live? I live in Clifton, in New Cl Jersey. Clifton, New Jersey, okay. How did you come into this country for the first time? I came here as a legal resident by plane. Good. Okay. And what's your address? My address is Stanberg Avenue, Clifton, New Jersey. Great. Do you live in a house or an apartment? I rent an apartment. Okay. Good. And what's your date of birth? My date of birth is January 11, 1984. Okay. And what's your country of birth? I was born in Ukraine. In Ukraine. So what is your nationality? I am Ukrainian. Okay, very good. Do you have any title of nobility in a foreign country? No, I do not. Okay, and what's your current marital status? I am married. You're married? Okay. Yes. How long have you been married? I have been married for five months. Okay. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No, never. Never? Never. Never ever? Okay. How many times have you been married? I've been married once. Once. Okay, very good. Are you an American citizen? No, I am not. Would you like to become an American citizen? Yes, officer. Okay. Why would you like to become an American citizen? Because I would like to vote. Oh, I see. Okay. And uh, when did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent president 15 years ago in uh, 2004. 2004. And how did you become a permanent resident? My parents petitioned for me. Okay, good. How do you support yourself? I work. You work? Yes, sir. And how did you go to work? I go to work by bus. By bus? Okay, yes. very good. Do you pay taxes? Yes, I do. How do you pay taxes? I pay taxes as a married person. As a married person, good. And when was the last time you paid taxes? Last time I paid taxes, last March. Last March, okay, very good. Since becoming a permanent resident, have you ever traveled outside the United States? Yes, officer. Yes, where did you go? I went to my country to visit my family. Interesting. How many times have you traveled to a foreign country within the last five years? Within the last five years, I traveled twice. Twice? Yes. Okay, great. Where did you go? I went to my country. The last time? Yes. The last trip you made? Yes. Okay, and when did you leave? I left on uh, June 1st, uh, 2017. Okay, June 1st, 2017. Is that correct? Yes. Officer. Okay, and when did you come back? I came back on June 15th, okay. 2017. Great. So how long were you there? I was there for 14 days. For 14 days. What was the reason of your trip? Uh, to spend some time with my family, with my relatives. Relatives. Okay. Have you ever been out of the country for more than six months? No, never. Never? Okay. Very good. Excellent. Now, we're going to work on some um, history questions. Did you prepare for your interview uh, with the citizen, uh, with the History questions? Yes, officer. Great, excellent. So what is the supreme law of the land? 
It's the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution, okay. What does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. Great. The idea of self-government is in the first three words. What are these words? Are we the people. Good. What is an amendment? An amendment is a change to the Constitution. Good. Which group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Uh, Africans. Good. Excellent. How many amendments does the Constitution have? It has uh, 27 amendments. 27. What is freedom of religion? Well, we can practice a religion or not practice a religion. Good. We elect a president for how many years? For four years. Four years. Okay. In what month do we vote for the president? Uh, we vote in November. Okay, good. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Good. Where is the Statue of Liberty? It's in New York. In New York, okay. There were 13 original states. Name three. Uh, New Jersey, New York, and New Hampshire. Okay, very good. Now we're going to write a few sentences. So if you can please write what I tell you to write. All right? Sure. All right, here you go. This is your pencil. Thank you. And let's begin. Number one, many people come to America for freedom. Okay, number two, Congress is part of the American government. Number three, George Washington George Washington was the first president. Okay, that should be more than enough for now. May I see what you wrote? Sure, here you go. Thank you. All right, great. You're doing a good job. Now, I am going to ask you to read a few sentences. Are you okay with that? Yes, officer. Okay, very good. So we're going to read from here to here. George Washington was the first president. Only Congress can declare war. People vote for the president in November. The American flag has stars and stripes. All right, amazing. Thank you very much. You're doing a good job. I just have a couple of more questions and then we should be good. Okay? Yes. Now, listen to my question. Have you ever been arrested? No, never. Never? Never. What is to arrest? It's uh, to be handcuffed by a police officer. Okay, very good. And what major event happened on September 11, 2001? A terrorist attacked the United States. Okay. Do you know what a terrorist is? The terrorist is the person that attacks the people of the country. Okay, good. Have you ever failed to file taxes? No, never. Never? No. What are taxes? Taxes are the money we pay to the government. Money we pay to the government. Interesting. Okay. Have you ever been a prostitute? No, never. What is prostitution? Is to have sex for money. Okay. Very good. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Uh, can you please repeat the question? Sure. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Okay. Very good, excellent. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, sir. Okay, what is to bear arms? Is to protect the country from the enemies. To protect the country from the enemies, okay. Very good, Mrs. Hara, let me give you the good news. 
congratulations, you passed the test. I only need one more thing from you. Can you please sign your name here? Thank you very much. Let me give you your documentation back. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. And I'll see you soon. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. This video really helps you guys. So don't forget to subscribe. Uh, at the bottom, there's a little button that says subscribe. So we can see you in the future videos, right? Yes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Exactly. Thank you for your help. That's right. Bye-bye, guys. See you in the next video.